This week's lab will be a gas emissions lab. It is a one day lab. Safety rules, you do not touch the gas emission tubes at all. If you watch when I change out the emission tubes, I will not put my hand on it at all. I will have some kind of cloth covering protecting the tube from the oils in my hands. So what are we doing? Well, each one of the gas emission tubes has a specific element in it. And we mentioned before that each element has spectral lines associated with it that help identify it. In fact, in astronomy, that's how we figure out what's out in space. So this week, for today's lab, you will be doing the same thing. So we'll be using what's called a spectrometer. And on a spectrometer, we have this lined in down here, and you'll notice that there's a split right here. The split is where I've got to line my light up with. Okay? And then I am going to look through the eye hole right here. And what I'm going to want you to do is I want you to record the lines of light you see inside. Okay. So I'm trying to show you what it looks like on the inside. And here I have it lined up with the mercury tube. And you'll see there's some lines showing up there. So the lines that we get line up with the electromagnetic spectrum. So make sure that you have near you an electromagnetic spectrum with the visible lines, visible light on there. Visible light has certain ranges for the energy. Remember, we talked about quantum theory. We talked about Planck theory of quanta or packets of energy. What you're seeing when you look through the spectrograph, spectrometer, you're seeing those packets of energy. That's what those lines represent. So how does this spectrometer work? Well, it's real simple. Um, remember messing with prisms when you were a kid? This front piece right here is basically a bunch of prisms all put together. It's called a diffracting gradient. If you've picked up a CD and looked on the back side or a DVD and you see the scattering of light like rainbow, same concept. And so I look through this and this prism or this diffracting gradient breaks up my lines into the packets and those packets and their energy levels is how I use it to identify what I'm working with.